Hello and welcome to today's bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going over the plugin Disguisecraft by Devil Boy and Tux2. So let's just click download and download as usual. And also as usual, we're just going to drag that to the desktop. And as usual, we're just going to stick this in our plugins folder. All right, so let me just grab those out real quick. Let's uh, you're just going to want to start at the server. Start doc command, and let's get into the server. So here we have me and Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy and I. Hello. And uh, he's just gonna. I'm just going to um, whenever he types a command, he'll be demonstrating what to type, but I will be doing the same exact command to you know show what it looks like. So here we've disguised as a chicken, and obviously his uh, name is above his head. You can configure the names to either be above the head or not be above the head, but you know that you have to go into the configurations and whatnot. All right, so now you can do chicken. There are also subtypes such as baby, which we're gonna show here. So slash d is the normal command, obviously to disguise as something. Baby cow, and uh, there we are. We're a baby cow. Very cute. So um. Now we've seen normal mobs and uh, subtypes. Uh, I gotta spell undisguised right. And um, you can also disguise as players. So we're gonna use notch as an example. Slash D player. Gotta make sure you put that in. Notch. And it takes a sec to load the skin, but there we go. And this works for any username ever out there. Also, it's a great tool for looking up someone's uh, skin. And as you see, it doesn't change your name in chat though. So. Uh, yeah. Of course, you can use, you know, plugins and nickname. Yeah. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now here are subtypes. So we can, there are sizes of slimes we can disguise as. So let's go to Godzilla Slime, which makes you, you'll see how big Pretty Boy is, but it creates quite the amount of lag. Yeah, that's a pretty big slime. But don't use this if your server is like one gigabyte, because it's going to just like, fry your computer, fry your server at least. Anyway, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. You can also disguise as just, we didn't show it here, but just like any animal you want, cows, creepers, skeletons, etc. And uh, it disguise craft personally is my favorite plugin ever. It's just amazing. Notice how when you disguise as Ender Dragon, actually an Ender Dragon health bar will show up at the top and of the screen. And you can configure players. if that says boss or the name. And Pretty Boy's having trouble getting off the ground. I I guess he didn't realize he could double tap the space bar to fly. I don't think I was. But here he comes. There, yeah, you were because you're flying now. Anyway, so yeah, um, if I really suggest you guys go and get this plugin, it's really fun. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Um, comment what you want to see us do next. Okay. Oh, poor, poor pretty boy. You can come back. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, we're, uh, looking forward to do more, doing more, um, plugin tutorials. So, uh, I think this is going to finish off the video and make sure to read the chat at the very end of the video. It's a good way to end the video. I'll just say that. So, now I'm a creeper, by the way. Lols.